Hi, this is Stoney. Welcome to Wingsound.com. Uh, I love getting your emails. I love having questions sent to me. Stoney at Wingsound.com is where you can find me. Uh, this is to answer Maurice Scott's question about hooking up the vocoder to the record program. Let's walk through it, Maurice, and let me answer your question. And anybody else who has questions, please feel free to email me. Let's go. I already have imported an acapella vocal inside of the record audio track. And um, it's as simple as going to your mixer and going into your edit insert. You click on the folder. In the folder, you'll go to the Reason Factory Banks. And here you'll find different settings. Here I want to go and find the um, vocoder patches, which would be in the All Effects patches. And then you go to vocoder. And I'm going to choose vocoder with the carrier and hit OK. Now when you use the vocoder, you have to have an input in order to um, vocode the acapella. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to come here to your synthesizer that's inside of the vocoder, which would be the subtractor. And you want to create a track. And you could uh, right click and go down to create track for subtractor. And here to automatically create a track. Once you start recording some data, that data will then trigger the vocoder and the vocoder will then be applied to the audio track. So we're going to try to um, mess around, press a couple of buttons so you can hear how it works. So um, press play and hit record. <laughs> So we'll hit stop. Now once we press play, you will hear that the MIDI information that was played in the subtractor in the MIDI section will trigger the audio. And that's the beginning of using the vocoder inside of the record program. Send Stoney your questions and check out more of her videos including these titles featuring Logic and Reason. Available now at Winksound.com.